Hey guys, and welcome to I Want My Angst TV Reviews. I'm Sarah, and today we are going to talk about the new AMC Plus original series, Anne Rice's Mayfair Witches. Unlike the Interview with the Vampire series, I'm coming at this one completely blind. I don't know anything about this series. So I'm just kind of going along with the trailer and what I've read about it so far. Just like with Interview with the Vampire, I had the privilege of watching the first five episodes. So I haven't seen the season one finale, but I have seen more than halfway through. To give a little synopsis off of my understanding with the reading and the watching, the Mayfair Witches follows a family of witches who have been witches for centuries since the Salem witch trials and probably beyond. Probably? And probably beyond. Whoever is the matriarch of the family ends up with an entity called Lasher. And Lasher, we're still not quite sure exactly what he is, but he like sleeps with every matriarch in the Mayfair family. And I weirdly feel like that's gross. But maybe it's just me. Our protagonist of the story is Rowan Mayfair, played by Alexandra Daddario, who is an adoptee, a surgeon, and also a witch that causes aneurysms. And I'm afraid. I can't control. This entity of Lasher is played by Jack Huston. Houston? Huston? Her uncle, Cortland Mayfair, is played by Harry Hamlin. Her aunt, Carlotta, is Beth Grant. Millie Mayfair is Geraldine Singer. Deidre Mayfair is Annabeth Geish. And her helper from this group of people that protects and follows those with special abilities is Superian. Superian? Kyperian? Played by Tungai Teresa. Now, let me start off this review by saying this is not interview with the vampire. From my reading and talking with some friends, the character of Lestat and Rowan Mayfair cross over at one point, but none of that is happening now. The style of the show is also completely different from interview with the vampire. Stylistically, the cinematography, the time period, the costumes, the language, the pace, as well as the way the story is told. So I don't want people coming in here just because it's another Anne Rice novel series to come in thinking that it is gonna be like and feel like Interview with the Vampire because these are two very, very different shows. There are some who will lie to you. Evil comes in many forms. So far in these first five episodes, I can't say that this series has truly grabbed me yet. I feel like when I'm able to watch the final few episodes, I'm probably not going to. Maybe I will, maybe I'll surprise myself. Somehow The Mayfair Witches is a show that is incredibly slow, but also too fast. It gives you so much information, but also tells you absolutely nothing at all. In the first couple of episodes, we get a lot of backstory and there's two timelines happening at once. And it took me a minute to realize that these two storylines were happening, especially with the way we're introduced. And then you don't really realize what's going on until someone casually says Deidre. So let me also say this, Mayfair Witches is not a show that you can do something else and watch. If you are a phone watcher and a TV watcher, this is not the show for you. If you can just sit there, maybe eat some popcorn where you don't really blink, pay attention. You will miss something because so much is said through looks and energy and vibes that isn't said in dialogue. I think Rowan's family is cast exquisitely. I love Harry Hamlin. I love Beth Grant. She has been in a million things and she's one of my favorite actresses. Alexandra Dario, I think is a lovely Rowan. Again, I haven't read the books, so I'm not quite sure how she's supposed to be. But in this, she's playing a fish out of water, someone who is thrown into a world she knows nothing about and has a lot of new information being tossed at her really well. 
She's not overly strong. She's not quite naive. And I believe her struggle. However, when it comes to Lasher, Lasher, from what I gather, is supposed to be extremely handsome, charming, sexy, and have so much charisma just like oozing off of him that he seduces all of the Mayfair women. So what I expect is for this character to seduce me while watching, and that just doesn't happen. I don't think he and Alexandra have very good chemistry. And so for me, that character and their dynamic falls really flat. So overall, I am not that impressed with the Anne Rice Mayfair Witches television series. I still do want to read the book and see what I'm possibly missing. And I would love to hear from book readers to let me know your thoughts on this series because I am completely in the dark and right now I am very unimpressed. I know exactly no who I am. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm Sarah. Please subscribe to our channel, comment, let me know what you guys think of Anne Rice's Mayfair Witches. Ring that bell so you don't miss out on any more angsty videos.